off to be here. Don't need it. Hello, good. Hi, you're welcome. <laughs> Put also our to the mute. We are on mute. We are on mute. The the other one I will keep on mute, otherwise your sound will. Uh-huh. Okay, but now I can put before we are start. And then put uh, this one briefing from the last one, but uh, not uh, like uh, second second one. Yeah, second one. Yeah. This is yeah. Not this one, second one, this, yeah, this one, good. And then everybody can see and then. Mm -hmm. You have it in me, yes.
What is uh, orange? Chat. 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 Ankush? Yes, coach. We will start. Two minutes, coach. Uh huh. Coach, we can start now. Okay. Good evening to the everybody. Uh, I'm happy that we are again together and uh, that we can again uh, exchange uh, knowledge about the basket. Uh, you have here on the screen that is. Uh, I talking with uh, BA5 and uh, we want to give a short brief from the last session. And every time when I make a session, that is my last session, <laughs> I will briefing, I will on the, on the screen, you can find uh, about uh, what we did and then we have to continue. For example, today we will talking how to make a playbook. Playbook is very important because uh, you cannot keep in your head everything. Today we have a technology, but we also can going, I'm not from a technology too much, but I use my assistant to help me about the technology, but uh, I put on the paper and I like to everything what I think that I will play in the future and how I thinking when I have a time, the free time, and then coach have to have a free time 24 hours. Maybe you are not professional coach, but you have to think about the basketball all the day. And uh, also, yesterday I talked with uh, my son and he is reading now some book about uh, sleeping and, and dreams. And then he told me when somebody is in uh, some materia for a whole day, you will dreaming this, what you have to do. And then maybe in the morning you will have a better solution what you want to do. That's meaning you have to planning what you want to do, have to analyze what you, what you did. And then after that, to thinking about a new idea, how your teaching process will be better. Because we are talked before what your player expects from you, that you are save the time of them and to motivate. When you will motivate them, when you are organized, when you are good organized, you will, you will help them. And then, when we are when we are talking about uh, basketball game, we we have to start from a one. That is uh, from a whole from a whole picture. Whole picture is a game because everyone everyone when want to play the game, that is uh, they have to understand the game to to see the game. It's the same story with the coach. It's the same story with the player. And then, when we are talking about the game, game is the main drill. Main drill, what we, what we want is a, is a game. That is a big picture. We make a big picture how look like a game. And then, before, I told the three things. That, uh, that understand the game, we will divide the game on the different parts. 
and then when we are teach we have to teach and we are call call uh, like uh, whole part whole method that's meaning we will uh, we will take a big picture and then from uh, this big picture we will divide on the different part and after that we will back to the main picture make picture is the game or how we will execute execute how we want uh, to do this and then uh, we have to use I, I little bit when i talking about this whole part method we have to uh, talk about uh, that when we do this how we will teach that is uh, first of all we have to demonstrate to the player and how we will demonstrate sometimes that we will do coach if you coach cannot do this that we will find the player what player make a good and you will tell him go and make it and everybody other have to see how he, he has to do this or if he cannot do anything we have to use technology we are going on the youtube or somewhere how we will uh, how we will demonstrate what we want to do that is about when we are talking but the most important we will back to the playbook i take with me that is uh, that is uh, indian team playbook that is a playbook about the play that is uh, not a drills but that is a playbook and this playbook you will see later on at the end of the today lecture this playbook will be come back but now we will we will go uh, going to the to the samples how it has to be that is the first one go go the shooting drill and make uh, you have a shooting here and then we are going shooting drill that is one of the drill i will go for a couple drills and actually i find that is not my that is i find on the internet and you will see what is important when you want to make uh, your playbook how it has to look like a playbook and if you see uh first of all we have a overview over you that is the meaning that is uh, this big picture that is a big picture we are make a big the form to make uh, some good form how we want to to planning planning to do and then how we will how we will coach we will coach coach and teach on the correct way shooting that is uh, overall that we are make a big picture after that next one set up how we will set we will set on the half court how many players how many players will be how many players will be in, include where i will be as the coach where i have to be where i stay in the middle to control both group uh how we uh, how we we rotate and then next one next step how work organization of the drill that is what we want in organization for example in this case we have a three group of the player one group is from a corner one group is uh, one group is a middle one group is uh, on the on the right side and then uh what we want we want that every player has a ball or we want that uh, only top player has a ball what we want that we are rotate player after shooting which form of the shooting from a place or from a catching of the player that that is what we have we have to write how we want to work and then at the end that is uh, when when is uh, finish why is good for us that is a coaching point that for example using two step using two step stop using one 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 stop in a one contact or uh moving distance to uh, shooting from a uh, shooting for a uh, shooting for a two uh, two points uh, mid range distance shooting for a three point that is in a coaching in a co coaching coaching point and that is uh, that is how you have to prepare 
you can take uh, some notebook and write in a notebook that he, that is your reminder when you are prepared practice. And then actually this uh, this one, if you remember on the on the way how we are practice, that will be coming coming in the main part of the practice. In my that can be in the main part of the practice, but also same drill I using in a warm up after the layup and stretching. Before before we are start the game, we may organize this form of the shooting and player senior player before the game seven eight ten minutes using exactly these drills to shoot to coming to coming in a good form of the shooting. I tell how important is the shooting. Tomorrow we will talking about modern tendency of the shooting and then especially in a young age shooting is. A, is uh, important in age 15, 18, because they will prepare and bring a love to them. They are coming and individually work. If you remember, Coach Zoran uh, tell yesterday, and I talked for a day, that any player is not made in a practice. Practice is a form that we are organized player to give them the tactic or something. But good player only will be coming with the extra work, individual work or to work alone. And that is also important. If your player concentrate doing well, we will give a opportunity to working alone and then develop. And shooting is a very important for Now you will see uh, shooting under the pressure. That is uh, another, another one. That is a shooting, uh, shooting over, uh, overall that how we will how we will uh, make a drill, and uh, that's meaning uh, no, no. Come, uh, come, uh, last one, one before. Yeah, no. After that, this when when running. What? Yeah, this one. That is. I is this one okay? Uh, okay, that is. Uh, that is. Uh, ah, okay. Form of the form, but I want this one. When one player running, make a layup, another have to run and pick him up. Yeah, this one. That is, that is a layup drill. And we know now we have to prepare player to be much faster than usual is. And then speed is a very important part of the game. Running with the ball and without the ball, that is a dominate in a modern basketball. When we are said physical ability, but, but one of the physical ability is uh, quickness. That is very important, with the ball and without the ball. And we have to select this fast player, but also we have to educate how, how they will play in a, in a, full, in a full sprint. That is, that is uh, you see, set up how we will, we will make a perfect form, their player will not come in, that, that is make a perfect form. Then, second one, our setup. We have to set up how we will use 12, 14, or 15 player. How we will set up their player will start from one corner, their player starts from another corner, player without the ball that will be on the, on the free throw line extending, player watching, watching, chasing him, they will be couple meters behind him, who will give a signal, maybe player, we will have to explain after that. That is, a, that is another one that is set up. How work? Now we have to explain that player with the ball will start. When he starts, player without ball have to run behind him. Also, we have to know rules. When we are talking about this, these drills, that somebody not injure anybody and then that this one was going to score if you player beside him that he cannot touch him if you are coming from a side that is unsportsman foul that's meaning player who chasing him have to come in the line with him if you want to attack him if you nothing then he will let him to score and then after that next step next step coaching coaching point from this what we want we can say we will organize drill with a 
limited offensive player on the five dribbling, limited offensive player with a three with a three dribbling. We will set offensive player that have two dribbling, left, right, right, left. That is that is another 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 point uh, another point what what we want to do. Uh, you you can uh, you can take all these drills, but uh, Ankush, go next one is uh, is a dribbling form. Dribbling uh, next, go, go. I will tell which one. Okay, dribbling line. That is a good drill. If you are say about uh, drill before main part of the practice, but dribbling lines, it's a very good. That is a ball handling drill. Ball handling drill. But we are make a ball handling drill. Ball handling drill in a in a move in an open court. We can make a side to side, sideline to the sideline, or we can make a baseline, baseline to the end line. But I'm sorry, I forget to tell one thing, because that you can write a diagram, you have to know because how we are, how that is alphabet, alphabet of the co of the of the coaching. Uh, of the coaching, some, some, how we will write, how we will write, what meaning player, what meaning, uh, what meaning defensive player, offensive player, how we are, uh, how we are mark a player who, who has the ball. That is uh, something. Here, you can see, but is uh, not fully prepared. Key diagram, that is uh, not fully prepared, but you can see here, that is a part, but on the my, on the my whiteboard, on the on the whiteboard, you can see here. Okay, that is uh, number one. What I put here, uh, uh, Ankush, share now on the phone, on the my phone. Ankush, view on the phone, because this what you are seeing a screen, you can. Uh, you cannot see everything. It's very good. Offensive foul that is uh, circling. X player, but he's not only X player that can be defensive player. We have another opportunity. What you will see here. That is uh, another one. Another one that is uh, that is a shot that moving without the ball. That is a pass. Another one is a dribbling the ball. Another one is a screen shooting shooting the ball and then after that uh, after that you have a pivot you have a sign for a pivot it's not here i have here ankush please yeah coach they can they can see there they can see uh, uh, they can see now mm -hmm. going to the camera yeah. on the my whiteboard yeah yeah they can see they can see now because I cannot see. Okay, first one, defensive player. I back about it. Defensive player, we can make a circle and then this line over him, that's meaning hands. And that position, how he will stay in a defense. That is the one way. Another way, we can make X, X1, X2, X4, 5, 6 about the drill. Offensive player, usually we can make one, two, three, four, five. We can we can circle. We can circle it. When he's a player with the ball, we can circle him. That's meaning he's a player with the ball. Or we can make a point. That's meaning he's a player player with the ball. Or we can cross, and also that's meaning he's a player with the ball. That is a different different coaches. I I have to give away what I find. And then well, how you can use. Another one is a player with the ball, what I say now, circling or, or over the number, we will make a circle. Back to the, this, move without a ball, that is a line. Cut, you have a cut, and that is a cut. That is a cut. Another one, screen. It's a straight line, like a move, and then when I stop, that's coming coming normal one one line on the on the moving line dribbling 
it's a curl, curl line that show the player with the dribbling. And then dribbling, changing direction, player going in one, one way, dribbling, and then after that, you are coming over and going opposite way. That is a player for changing the direction. Next one is a handoff. Handoff, it's the same movement. And then after that, you have a two screen. Defensive slice, that is a line, line angle line. And the angle line, this is defensive slice. Shot, what you are saw before, that is a two line. And then uh, shot layup, you are make this shot and you are make a two S, that is a two step shot or a one step shot, two leg shot. You can make, uh, you can make uh, what, what you want. That is, uh, that is a way that every coach, if you want, to write something, and that will be basketball writing, they have to know. That is alphabet, alphabet, and uh, from the first day, we are teach, which teach uh, this part. Okay. When we know this, we will coming, uh, we will coming back to the, back, yeah, that is dribbling lines, but here, I think that is a small and you cannot see that is a curl line. And then dribbling moves, we are organized. You see here, this, uh, this is made five lines. Five lines, player have to take a real position. And that is, that is we make, uh, we make uh, first some overview, big picture, how have to look like the drill. Second one is a set, set, set. We will see. Every player will have a ball if you, everyone has a ball. Or we will be running up and down if you don't have a till the middle and same way, same way to the way back. Or we can, uh, we can on the versal, when coach versal, we will tell them that have to change, uh, that have to make a change. That is a very good way if you are uh, learning of the, of the dribbling, we are talking about changing direction in a dribbling. Changing direction in a dribbling that we can have a, have a crossover, couple of different way of the crossover that we can change between legs. That is, uh, we can change between legs. We can change behind back. We can working on the spin. That is, uh, that is, we will, we will do, we will do how have to, how, and then, how have to work. And then we will, we will explain in this way, how this work. That's meaning, when player coming from a free throw line, that will be coming, uh, coming next group. Or when player coming to the middle, that will start the next group. Or we can say, player on the right side, dictate the moment when, when, other player follow him or you are said left side because all the time when you are on the court you will not uh, push the player there alone on the court because the basketball game is not a long game player every time have to care what happened around him because he play against defense and he he cooperate with the own player and he has to see everything what's happened on the court. That is. And then, for example, now I explain drill, but that is. And then, also, we will, we will, uh, we will say here how, how, how we can uh, working. We can working without, uh, without uh, stopping changing. That is a fast change. Or we can stop, and then which way we will using. We will using jab step, or you will using cross step. When we are when we are change change direction and then coaching point why is good for us why and then how we will how we will improve first how we will doing and then how we can improve how many dribbling between between the plays that we will change one one day another day that we will give a more sharp angle that is that is this coaching point. What, what we want to do. 
Go, go uh, next, uh, Ankur. Go next. Uh, no, I don't want this. Go, go more down. Uh, more down. Uh, yeah. Okay. Now we are talking about uh, we are talking about uh, dribbling, and now we have to talking about the passing. Passing is a very important part of the game. Passing is a part of the game where we cannot make a mistake. We can make a mistake in a shot, 50-50 that we will score. We can make a offensive foul. We can make a traveling, but we cannot make a mistake on the pass. And then also what is important, one, one, my coach, and then was a very big coach after that, he say that is passing, make a basketball like art. Good pass when you are make a very good pa uh, shot. And pass, we are called assist. And assist is a count. Like a count, uh, like we count uh, basket, we are count also assist. Assist is the last pass before we are scoring. And uh, that is also make a proud player who make assist and then score. But also, we have to make a pressure on the player from the first day. How important is the passing? A lot of coaches, they are underestimate passing and not working so much on the passing. And then it's very important from the first day that we are working on the passing. That is a little bit review about the passing. Have a lot of type of the passing. I will talking down, but overview. How, 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 how we want to organize Organized drill. That is the usual way you can you can talk with the Indian coaches in a national team, senior national team. We are every second day, maybe every day, we are working on the pass because player not care too much about the pass. They think they are no to pass and not to care too much. And then form of the catching and passing is something what is the fundamentals of the basketball, like a fundamental dribbling. How fundamental layup and everything else, passing is the fundamental and, and what I say, maybe one of the most important elements of the game. Because four or five passes or two passes will make a shot. And then we have to work in for this. That is, uh, that, is uh, that we know over you. And then we will set up. How we will set? Set up beginning. We will put the player one over other. In a distance, what, what we say between uh, five, six steps between them. And then, way how we want to teach, it's a very important way how they are holding the ball. That is the technical part. How they are holding the ball, how is the basketball position. It's very important they are know, they are holding the ball, they are holding the ball on the right way. And then, what I, I, I saw when I went in the uh, United States, I saw one new technique. I think tomorrow when we are talking about that is a technique that I have a completely, completely hands over the ball. Ankush, can you show me again? That is the camera on me. Ankush, please. That is this technique is when, when I completely protect the ball and then from this position with a, on the shorter way, I make a pass and I have a perfect balance. That is the beginning. We will, uh, we will lock the legs and then we will, we will working. Uh, yeah, I have a ball. You can see, usually position. They are holding ball is uh, this one. And then what I saw that is uh, position. When I protect the ball, and then from this position, I just open and push the ball. That is, I protect the ball, and that is like, uh, like uh, I stay in a triple trap position. I stay in a triple trap, triple trap position. Ba ball is a product, and from this position, it's easy. That can dribbling, that can, can pass, and also with a little bit, I can go to shoot. That is, ball is, uh, in this situation, is uh, completely protected. 
Uh, can you can you back to the this one? From the beginning, when we are working, we can. If you are a young kid, that is, we will block the leg. They will not working with the leg. They will working. Uh, they're they're working. They're working only with the arm. Good extending hands, target that to receive the ball. When you are receive the ball, when you are receive the ball, you are not losing balance. That you are from a good balance, fast can pass. And that is uh, in a, this distance we will be working sometimes. That is uh, that is when we are say that is uh, set up. Now we will give what I talking now. How this work? We will give a technique. What I talking now? That is uh, without leg. That we want only passing. We will passing. After that, we will start to use the leg. We will set the player go step back, and then use use uh, use uh, one feet go go to the ball and immediately pass, and then going a more one more step back, and then again passing step back. Now we will coming to the eight nine meter, and then we have to step to the ball and then immediately to pass this ball. And then we will explain technique how it has to be how it has to be good pass. And now, when when I talking about uh, coaching point, that is that is we will say that we can doing drill when one player is on the one side, another player is on another side, five meter, six meter, seven eight meter, eight meter. Why is it good for a for a teaching? How we can improve in this way, and then you are and you are organized completely. You are completely organized drill, drill, and then you can improve. You can bring new part of them. When that is uh, like, if you remember, that is analyze, analyze after the practice. That is coaching point meaning analyze of the drill, and then how you can improve and how you make. Uh, little bit more complicated or how you will speed it up that is i'm i'm back here what i talking before first we have to have a big picture when we have a big picture we will divide this picture on the small picture on the small details and again we will back to the big picture how we will use this when we are start playing or how when when defense coming that we can be competitive that is the next what is also important and we are going through the drill that is a handicap drill passing drill we can do in a in a first part of the practice warm up period of the practice five to ten minutes <coughs> no this one three against two okay that is uh, that is uh, something what we are called handicap drill that is a transition drill. That is something what we will do in the main part of the practice. Main part of the practice meaning that we can say overview. That's meaning that we are working over the over the all the court. That is uh, we divide. We can divide the team on the on the two teams. Six. How many player we have? Twelve player. A player. That is we can divide uh, divide. I I think that. With eight player, we cannot do because we need a three player all the time. But a minimum player have to be nine player that we can make uh, make uh, these these drills. And then that is an overview about the drill. Set points that we will set. We will say maybe player stay on the side. Maybe maybe player will will stay under the basket. That is a set point. Two player is in a defense, and then three player will coming and play three against two. And then that is how we want to set up, how we want to change it. How working drill, and now we'll coming that we will explain player that have to run in front of the ball all time. There are two players must be front of the ball all time. And then now coming coming details of the drill. Details of the drill meaning that point guard can dribbling the ball and coming over the middle with the ball. Or that in this situation he can push the ball to the man who is in front of him. And 
that we have to create in a three against two, we have to create situation two against one. What's meaning? Like what you are seeing here, like a point guard, have to involve one defender of him and another two defender have to attack only one. And then I think here is not the right 12. They have to one player be more under the basket and other player have to be a little bit on the way. Because all the time, three against two, we have to create in a situation two against one. And after that, what is, again, this uh, teaching, teach, uh, teaching point, how working drills, how fast we will be ready that, that one more player will come in and the opposite way, we have again three against two and how will two players will come in and then cover basket. And then all time rotation, three against two and then two defender player, they have to come in and go in the open. Uh, and coaching point, coaching point, meaning for, a, for a this moment that we will, we will, we can make a little bit diff difficulties. Their player will not stay, this third player would have to come that can receive the ball and to be first one that other two have to running, that we have to say that the player with the ball have to bring the ball over the middle to attack first one, or we will tell that have to give a ball immediately to the one side, that we want to play sideline fast break and third one to speed up because he is the most important because he, uh, speed up from opposite side. That is the coaching point, how we will develop drill. How we will develop drill and then this one, three against two, three against one, two against one. That is a very important drill in a young age, also for a senior because Indian basketball is very weak on the transition. That is my point when we are start working with the under-16 national team, when, when working under-18 with the senior national team, that is a very weaker point. Maybe because in India you are playing a lot of zone and they are player after the zone when you are, when you are staying and not, not doing anything, you are not sprinting fast in offense. That is a good maybe point, Coach Zoran talking about this, that is a zone is a not good for a young player because uh, personality of the young people is not to staying in a place. Personality of the young people is a dynamic. Young people want dynamic, want to, want to be, be uh, in a moment that, that have an energy. When you are see uh, Senior people or older people, they are fight on the street. That is very rare. But when you see young people, young people never stay quiet. Every time come, somebody push, somebody runs, somebody do it. And then as you coach, if you are take from a player this aggressivity and you are let them to stay in a zone, after that, that is a reaction. If you are not aggressive in a defense, after that, you are not aggressive in an offense. And that is something what what we have to push the player. Tomorrow I will be uh, speaking about modern basketball. Modern basketball is a, is a basketball what is the physical ability dominate, speed dominate, player need to run very fast. I just tell you now and then I will repeat tomorrow. Uh, in NBA, Sacramento King, in, not in this year, year before, was the most fastest team in average they are going over the middle for a 2.8 seconds. Can you imagine? After rebound or after basket, they are 2.8 seconds, ball is over the middle. And they are player front of the ball. When I, when, I, when I coach senior national team, I said, can we be a little bit faster that for a four seconds, we are past mid of the court. And then why I come back from this, that is this transition. We need in India to work in much more on the transition. Three, two against one, three against zero over the court. After that, I will make, uh, I will make a playbook what we did for uh, Indian, Indian team. 
and we are using as a senior team, but also using as a, using as a youth and then senior national team, almost same deal. That is a system, how fast we will come to the transition. Transition, that meaning fast break. How we will fool the line that every time we have a three player front of the ball. That is the ball take one side, one player one side, another player other side, one player in the middle. That is organized very fast and then that we make uh, as less as possible mistake on the, this way. That is, that is the meaning about when, we, when you want to make that you have to hold this direction. You can, uh, Ankush, you can go now about uh, one uh, defensive part to talk about a little bit drill, drill for a one-on-one. I think here you have one drill, one-on-one. One-on-one. One-on-one, that is a basketball. One-on-one, -on -one, today, today in a modern basketball, very important part that I can beat a man without a, without a ball, also is a one-on-one. -on -one. When I cutting to the basket, when I going from a basket, that I will be free. And another way, what is on the this drill, that is a one on one from a special from a special position, from a special position that is a sixty degree, sixty degree degree about the elbow elbow position, and player player will play one on one. They will give they will give it to him. And they will play one on one. After that, when uh, when when they are finished, they will uh, defender will coming. That is the next step. That next step is the setup. How we will set up? But general view where we will put the player, where we will put on the one side of the court, on the another side of the court. Where will be me as the coach? I will stay. That that I control. That I will stay on the one side or I will stay on the other side, or I will stay in the middle. That is important. When you are make a group uh, as the coach, you have to be equal with the, all the people. But like everywhere, you like somebody more, like somebody less. That is, that is uh, life. You have a better player, you have a weaker player. You have to make a decision. Which part? Maybe this weaker group today I will a little bit more ignore. I will go to the better group. Next day, I will go to the equal group, but with the one eye, will looking looking them, but not with the full eye. But I will be more concentrated on the on the this side. That is a, that is a now general view. Set up. We are say how player will stay. That we will, that player with the ball will have a ball, and then maybe second one in the group they have a ball. Now is the organization. Of the 101. Another one, how this works? We have to set defender to give a ball to the offender and to be ready to defend. And then offender, we can limit them. We can say him two seconds. You have to beat him. We can tell him you have a three opportunity. You can shoot and then go both sides to penetrate. Because if you know what is the meaning 101. One on one, every time offense dictate, and then if you take a best offender and then best defender, every time offender will win, because offender they have a three opportunity. Offender, it can shoot and can going for for a both side, and defense can guard only two things: they are take a shot or close him one side, or if you stay parallel. That in the parallel way, I, I stop him penetration, open him shot. That is, that is a good way. That is a good way when we are working on the one on one. That we are learn the player to understand opponent. Their opponent will tell him how they are good. Somebody not good shooter, some very good in a penetration. Especially in a, in a kid's level. Most of the kids, if you're right hander, only going to the right side. They have a very weak, Left hand, and then they will stay on the way how have to stay. We are we are uh, uh, develop basketball intelligence to the player. They are know immediately from the first day.
they are read opponent they are know how opponent good and when coming game they are coach don't need to tell him where where this one is a good that also make own own decision my friend is so every time going right i will not let him to go right that is the meaning i not let him go right i will not let him go shooting and i i can be very good in a defense but generally offense dictate three things and then defense only can guard two things and then if you want to be successful in a defense we need a, we need a help another way after that that is a coaching point that is coach have to know in a, in a, this way how will we make a drill to be to be more difficult what's meaning to be more difficult drill that's meaning after the player play one on one immediately from a offense he need to sprint up and to pick up defender and then he will be little bit late player with the ball is ready and can beat him earlier and he has to know immediately when he shoot the ball that immediately have to turn and run back and try to find opportunity to find the opportunity to play one on one and then next coaching coaching point we can uh, not working on the one place we can make a five position there are more player we include in a one on one make a three player they can change offense defense out offense defense out that is between three player that is a coaching point what we want what we want to do that is the first part what i want to talk that is the part where i want to talk about uh, about playbook how you are organized playbook one on one that is in the main part of the practice when you are prepare legs after the stretching you are prepare legs working activation for the legs then next step is the one on one one on one on the different way you are play play your drills for a one on one you can make uh, in a front court where you are say attack basket you can make over the all court and then i think that can be very good that can be very good uh, that one on one very important part part of the game and then when you are develop player to play good one on one offensively defensively almost you did big 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 part of the of the game okay ankur transition transition paper that is uh, this one this one you can uh, you don't need me just show paper that is a paper you have a paper. easy 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 that is a three man three man fast break and here how we are organized we have a lot of option from a this one lot of option you can see that is a player with the ball player with the ball under the basket and that is in a senior level we make a specialization because position 5 position 1 and 2 that can be outside player well who can play up up and then inside player can play under the basket and then we have a different option for example now that we want to ball in the middle and then in a moment when five men make a rebound that after that number 2 will take a line near a, near a side line have have to sprint number 1 we will receive the ball from a number 5 and without dribbling or with the one dribbling he will pass to the number 2 that is the first option second option they can be that number 1 receive the ball number 2 number 2 sprinting number 1 not to give him a ball and then when coming around three point line we little bit stop and going to score most important uh, can you can see what's meaning pass what's meaning dribbling what meaning running running without the ball and then at the then you have a you have a two line for a shooting go next one we can do left side we can do right side okay now we will involve number 5 men in the same drill we will involve number 5 If you are going up and down one way, now we will involve number five. 
it's the same situation in this way number one will receive the ball number two will running to the this position and number five through the middle coming we are called this player trailer we will coming through the middle receive the ball and score you have another situation it's the same drill same drill but now we are working on the back door we are not coming to the fast break number one we receive the ball number two running to the corner number five will running middle and then when one number one will coming to the to the three-point line extended he will hesitate a little bit hesitated meaning that he will he will stop control the ball and number two because he's a tight guard he will sprint baseline and receive the ball on the back door okay now i will show a lot of these diagrams but you are here from me lot of different words that is the terminology very good point for uh, indian people is their english is a common language but basketball language is a completely different and when you are talking with your player you have to teach your player terminology terminology basketball terminology you are heard from me outlet pass that is uh, hesitation back door layup shot that is not english common language that is the basketball language and then as the coach you have to develop to understand this dialect dialect of the basketball that is the basketball dialect we will continue ankur next one that is you have a same situation what we say now point guard will receive the ball number 2 will sprinting to the to the corner on the same side number 5 will keep the middle he is not see but now at the end we are going for a handoff handoff that is a two line here is not right well but number 1 will dribbling hesitate on the three point line number 5 is running now have to be on the opposite elbow and then number 1 will make one dribbling to the basket number 2 coming around him will be handoff and then from a handoff they are coming penetration handoff signal signal is a two line you can remember after that go next one now we have a, a transition with a with a four player only three men on the opposite side is not here now we want to involve much more player 5 and 4 in a drill with a similar way what we did before that is in a in a first one you can see that is a happen hand off and then number 5 number 5 running 4 and they will exchange a position number 5 who make outlet pass will coming till a free throw line and number 4 will will running down and then after that coming way back and then also right side number 1 and number 2 will change position and now you can see another one that is uh, early early drag what's meaning drag drag is uh, early pick and roll early pick and roll what will happen on the another page that is uh, number 1 going back door number 2 decide not to pass back door and going around number 5 that is pick and roll but this in a in a fast break they are called drag drag pick and roll and player going around him and that is a drag pick and roll ankush give a video video 3 on 3 that is enough they can take everything from this uh, you can give a video from a, from a, you have this video ankush Okay. Transition. That is analytics. That is how how we prepare. 
that is uh, for a player, that is uh, for us. And that is uh, this transition. That is a transition. Transition, but full away. You see. Now is the transition with the five player because transition with the three, we didn't put. You can see. And now is explained this transition what we need to do. Number one with the ball. You can go. That is player with the ball coming free, free this on the top of the circle, little bit right. It's coming. Okay. Uh, can you show back this? Little bit back. I want to set something what is uh, very good for. Uh, can you stop now? If you see pass, this pass, that is a hook pass we are calling basketball. But I call cricket pass because India is a cricket country. And then you have to use in the basketball good things. And then when you are working in the passing, you have to work, that is very modern pass. Without the catching ball, you can pass everywhere. Lots of time in India, when you are seeing they are pass all around, all around court, they are use this hook pass over the cat. I call it cricket pass. And then he will show how look like uh, how this look like. Uh... Go, Ankush. Show this again. Look, pass, cricket pass. I call cricket pass. That is player split. And then that is a handoff. Handoff, pass, other side, pick and roll. That is a transition. And again, that coming this pass. That is another option of the transition. That is uh, they change side, handoff, handoff, back door. Can show again, show again. That is also, they change side, one hand off, another hand off, back door. That is a short move, that is a fast break, fast break move. And you will see here, same way explained. Coming, hand off, give a hand off to the four and then continue. And can you stop now? Change the, that is what need to do. Player number one, change the tempo. That is uh, all time basketball is not game when we are. That is uh, point A, point B, and you have to be faster there. You have to optimize speed. Basketball is a game of the changing, changing pace. You are not. You are going from a full sprint to slow, from a slow to the full sprint. That is important that you are understanding the basketball. Not sprinting without mind. Every time you are ready to change the pace. And then you see, change the tempo, count the dribbling, not dribbling too much dribbling. When you are handoff, dribbling handoff, D-H-O, dribbling handoff, be ready to cut on any bad, bad switch X1 and X2. That is. And then every player, what have to do? Space, number three, to be space. Number five, what have to do? Number four, number two. Why we are doing this? That is, we need to make a proper spacing. Spacing meaning our position on the court. How we will, how we will take, a, take a position on the court. We are sprinting and then we are, we are stopping and take a, take a position on the court. Okay, go. And that, that is the point guard. He changed the position. And then here is explained what have to do. Number four, what need to do? 
position four, that is power forward. Good. Hand off. Another hand off. Back door. And then everybody stop. Stop. Okay, Ankush. Stop. Back to me. Back to me. We will finish with this today. We will continue. We will finish with this. And then that is uh, you you saw this, that is uh, top level of the basket. But if you are working day by day and organize your player, if your drill is organized, that is a playbook, that is our playbook. And every player, they have this playbook. Every player have to remind this. Me as the coach, I have to remind how we will improve my work. And then if I day day, I'm organized and I can improve my work, my team will, will uh, be better. My player will better. Player will have a more fun to coming in the practice. And then beginning, I told you, you need what player expect that you are respect the time when they are coming and that you are that you are optimize your practice because practice will make a team better. Every player want to come to win. If you are start to losing, your player will not like this. Player want to win. And then player will win if you are organized, respect them, and trust in the player. You need to trust in a, your player. I will finish with this, and then we can make a couple questions, and then that is enough for today. Tomorrow we will talking about modern basketball, and you will see, we will prepare something for this. Any questions? Any questions, they can raise their hands. Raja, you can ask. Hello, Raja, can you hear? Uh, coach. Yes. You are talking about the offense assist. Uh, yeah, okay. Making a good pass leads to a good basket. What about defense yeah. assist? Can you explain any, anything about the defense assist? Can you tell uh, one more time? Because voice is not a good. They are cut. Can you, can you repeat? Understand my question? Yeah, yeah. Can you repeat, please? Yeah, this is you are talking about the offensive, offensive assist. Yes, yes. Offensive assist, that is the only you are talking about the uh, good pass. Yes. Making good uh, baskets lead to the good basket. What about defensive yes. assist? Can you explain anything about the defensive assist? Defensive assist? But okay, that is uh, it's, uh, difficult. But also we can uh, make uh, statistics about uh, good, good defense. How, how many times I stop in a one-on-one? That I not let uh, let the player to beat me. Also, I will talking about uh, helping in a defense. I tell you that uh, in a one on one you cannot stop the man. Uh, main thing is uh, that we need to help. How we will make a position that we help in a defense. All time I need to be in a position to help, but also to be response for a own own man. I am ready to help. That is a call help and recover and then I will go to help but I will not let my man that will be free I help and then after that I will sprint to stop the my man because main principle in a defense we have to stop the ball number one in a defense meaning we need to stop the ball when we are stop the ball and then how we will stop the ball we will stop the ball with the five player we don't want to play defense one on one we will tell player you need to play defense on the your man. Yeah. We, are, we are believing you. We are trusting you. You are the best. You have to stop the man. And then you will not believe in a help who play on the ball. But all other players have to be in a position to help him all the time, but also to be response for own man. That is a response. First, I have to be response what I have to do. 
I have to stop the ball. And me, as a player who play on the ball, I have to stop the ball. Another step, everybody else have to see ball and be ready to help me to stop the ball. That is the calling help recover or to the next level, if you are have to switch or to rotate, that is another level in a defense. But I will really wish that in India, you are playing much more man to man because in a, every national championship senior, all the team play almost man to man. When you are going to the every game in India to watch under 14, under 16, under 18, every team ev only plays on. And then I talking with the coach Zoran, I talking with the federation. In the future, we will forbid in a young age to play zone. FIBA that recommended all federation they not to play zone. Indian Federation agree they will play Passarella under 14. Every player have to play. That is also very honest. They are led to every young player play man to man. And then you will not ask me this question because everybody will be ready to play good defense. And then this defense will help that we will develop Indian basketball on the top level. If Indian, Indian people can play defense, I know this, they can be very good, but we need to trust. And we, as the coaches, all we need to working on the on the this way. What? Kamal, you want to ask question, Kamal? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, thank yeah. You, sir. Yeah, sir. My question is: uh, when you have given the position of the players, then how do you make drills? Because uh, the drills that we make are out of the reaction of the defender. So, how do you react? The point is, uh, you told me two will go to five, five will go screen. What okay. made what made you think about this? Because of the previous okay. game or something else? Okay, very good question. And that is uh, good that every of us understand what I'm talking. What you are so here, that is senior basketball. And then in a senior basketball, we not to make a big difference between one, two, three, and four. We play four outside plus one, five men. That is mostly all our, our offense is create like this. Four outside player and one, one inside player. I will talking more tomorrow. But in an age till the 14, you are teach everybody to be point guard. You are make one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But in an age till 15, everybody is point guard. In a 15, 19, I tell around 70, first place what we are specialized is a point guard, position one. All other players, they are multiple players. They are play position two, three, four. Four. And that will be take the next three, four years. They are give opportunity to everybody can play. Maybe you will play with a five outside player because in India we have a maybe three, four big guy or some beginner who is a beginner. You will put him under the basket to easy play and you are play four people on the perimeter. And then I will back from a, from a lecture from the first day in a practice. You have to teach everybody to play all positions. From a one, from a one till five. That is the practice. When you are coming in a game, that is only position five can be position five. And you are put in the position five. And then how he will develop, he will coming down to the position four, three, two, one. But four, three, two is a not big difference. One and two is a not big difference. Technically almost same. Only is a little bit different about intelligence about the physical ability. That is about a little bit skill, a little bit shooting. That is the different in a young age, what is. But question is very good because on the presentation, if you are, if you are listening on the right way, you are so that I present beginning for a young player that is not position one, two, three, four. But after that, when I show position one, two, three, or five, that is a senior basketball. Where is the more specialization? In a senior basketball, we have a specialization, but in a young age, we don't want early specialization. We want to this specialization to coming later on. 
in a senior or what I say point guard with a 70 because that is the player what play start to play from a 9 10 and then around 17 he is playing more than uh, more than uh, 10 years basketball and he is ready for a specialization but especially why we don't have a good point guard because early we are put on the wrong people if you are in a young age we have a four point guard on the court everybody is a point guard we will easy find somebody who will be with a good physical ability i have a problem in india all point guard what you are find they are very short short people can play basketball it's not a question i said this position is an unlimited position but also from the other side when is somebody taller and is more mobile and have a high eq that is more responsible to be point guard and then we can play with the two parallel guard when is not point guard we also can play and that is our advantage then we will be much more taller i think that is enough for today you. and uh, you can uh, you can take uh, from a white board that is uh, this sign uh, how we will uh, how we will sign in basketball and i wish you good day and then hope tomorrow we will uh, we will uh, i give you more time that you are answer and uh, I will try trying to find a good example that you are uh, improve when day day by day we are improved with uh, with uh, our uh, our uh, knowledge. Thank you very much. Have a good day.